Hello, IBW family. My name is Tom Reed. I am the International Vice President for the IBW First District, Canada. I would like to begin by first acknowledging the land on which I am recording this video today. The territory of the Anishinaabek, Huron Wendat, Haudenosaunee, and Ojibwa Chippewa peoples. The land that is home to the Metis. This territory is covered by the Upper Canada Treaties. As we celebrate Labor Day 2021, our day, it is a time to reflect and to celebrate the accomplishments we have achieved together as part of the world's oldest and largest electrical workers union and the greatest union in the world, the IBW. The origins of Labor Day in Canada can be traced as far back as April 15, 1872, when the Toronto Trades Assembly organized Canada's first significant demonstration for workers' rights and a parade that saw approximately 2,000 workers march through the city of Toronto. The demonstration was to try to get 24 leaders of the Toronto Typographical Union released from prison for striking for a nine-hour workday. This at a time when unions were still illegal and striking was considered to be a criminal conspiracy to disrupt trade. By the time the parade reached Queen's Park, the crowd had grown to an impressive 10,000. A few short months later, a similar parade was organized in Ottawa and passed the house of Canada's first Prime Minister, Sir John A. Macdonald. Later that day, Macdonald appeared before the crowd and promised to repeal all Canadian laws against trade unions. Originally celebrated in the spring, Labor Day was moved to the fall in 1894 when it first became a staff holiday. You have probably heard the same ridiculous rhetoric that I have heard wherein unions have somehow lost their relevance and with government regulations and things of that nature, unions are no longer needed. We of course know this couldn't be farther from the truth. We only have to look at the past year and a half while living and working through the COVID-19 pandemic to see that unions are more important than ever. Together, we have successfully fought for increased safety protocols, personal protective equipment at work, and even additional compensation. It is also a well-documented fact that unionized workers have fared far better than their non-union counterparts throughout the pandemic. And as governments and employers increasingly push for mandatory vaccinations, we as unions have an opportunity to participate in the dialogue and protect our members' rights. In just a few short weeks, we find ourselves heading to the polls to decide the future of our federal government. This election, like any other, is very important and will shape the future of our nation for years to come. I encourage you to educate yourselves on the issues and candidates and most importantly, participate in the process by voting. When you are reviewing platforms and weighing out your options, please keep in mind issues that have affect the entire labor movement and our ability to earn a decent living and retire with dignity. In closing, please enjoy your much deserved time with your family and friends. If possible, get some much deserved rest. Sadly, most Labor Day celebrations have been canceled again this year, but there may be some virtual events in your area that are worth checking out. We in the IBW often hear that we are the best kept secret in town. So this year, if you're out and about, please proudly wear your favorite IBW swag. And if you get the opportunity, tell anyone willing to listen about the IBW and the benefits of being a member of Canada's labor movement. And also in closing, if you are out or gathering with family and friends, please follow all COVID-19 protocols in your area and please stay safe. Take care. Thank you for your time and have a happy Labor Day.